Hey, I don't have anybody here to help me today, but I got a doctor this goat up and it gives me an opportunity to show you something I've dealt with several times. I have a couple of goats that get this every year. I feed good, strong alfalfa graft hay mix, 50-50. I have open mineral, and sometimes the consequence of avoiding you see your urinary calculi can be that your goats have pretty acidic urine and acidic urine is your friend but in some goats the way they process food and the way they eat their mineral and whether they eat lots of it or whatever sometimes you're going to find that you might deal with urine scald so i can want to teach you how to identify it and how to pretty easily deal with it the the, the key is to catch it early and um, i always kind of look over my herd is right now it's the end of december I'll usually check pretty heavy towards the as it's starting to get cold and the main problem is is that they get really hairy around the base of their penis they keep the acidic urine held against the skin because it saturates around there and then what happens is it burns it and it can turn into a pretty nasty wound and it can get really infected and move clear into a thing called um, sheath rot which I'm sure you can imagine how disgusting that is Chester gets it every year right off in the fall, so I always know to check him. And, and here's how to solve the problem. It's really a pretty easy fix. But I'm gonna show you, this is Bruno, and he has it right now. And you'll recognize that he's got kind of some darkness around the base of his penis. So see how that, that hair is getting dark right there? And also, if you look at the actual penis itself, he kind of was pawing at it. it. This is actually not very bad, it's just, it may look worse than it is, but it's just a little bit on the surface of the skin around the base of the penis. But that's how you'll kind of notice it. And the fix is, is that you just shave the hair at the base of the penis. I'll put on a little bit of uh, antibiotic ointment um, to kind of insulate it from the urine for a little while. And then um, I'll treat with iodine to help to kind of keep that eye area dry. Now the key is just to proactively get to know the goats in your herd that do this. And if they do, just shave them in the fall. And that's what I proactively do. This is a new case I've never shown up with Bruno before, but I've seen it kind of hit some goats intermittently. Out of 11 goats I have on the property, I already treated Chester. I can see that Noah has just a little bit of a touch of it, and this goat does. So three out of 11. So I know it's not a huge dietary concern. I'm keeping my goats on the edge of acidity, which will ward off urinary calculi. So there it is. So I wanted you guys to kind of recognize it, know what it is. I'm no vet. I'm no nutrition expert, um, but I do know that I've dealt with this a little bit and you may deal with it too and now you'll know how to recognize it. So I hope that's helpful. PackGoats.com.